Welcome to Lanyap, a program about events, issues, and people. I'm Corey Crow. I'm joined today by Medria Buford. She's the Director of Alumni Affairs at the University of Louisiana Monroe. Medria, thanks for being with us today on Lanyap. I am doing well, and it's good to have you with us uh, today here on KEDM. You've got a um, you've got a busy job as director of alumni affairs, and one of the times that all the old alumni folks try to get back on campus is around homecoming, isn't it? Yes, of course. You know, everyone loves to return home and have have those nostalgic memories of going to the hub or the calf or the football game. So we're excited to have everybody back. That is going to be a uh, a big week of events. You've got something that I think I've heard of this, but then um, I, I, I saw it this year and I was kind of like, oh, that that's new. The Golden Society. What What is the Golden Society and what is the Golden Society Dinner? So the Golden Society Dinner is where we induct our graduates who graduated 50 years ago. It's going to, This year it's going to be the class of 1973. It's going to be an intimate dinner with President Berry and some other uh, university administration. And they come and have dinner and they get presented with the new diploma and a pin that commemorates being um, – a part of the university family for 50 years. So you get to sit down and eat dinner with the president. Yes. That's pretty cool. That's extremely cool. Who gets to do that? And you don't get to really do that much at other universities, do you? No, I don't think you do <laughs> uh, very often uh, at uh, at many places. So the class of 1973 coming yes, back. Yes, 1973. And if you know there are other people who want to support this class and support this initiative, they can purchase tickets. They're $25. Um, you can get them online, and you can come and hang out with the class of 73 and President Berry. Okay, when is this happening? happening again? This is going to be um, on Friday, October the 27th, and it's going to be at Bayou Point, and dinner starts at 6 p.m. And that uh, that sounds uh, like a neat deal. So you get your ticket for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is uh, one of the events uh, coming up for the big homecoming week. Um, one of the biggest events, like, and I, I had no idea till I got out late one night and got out with the kids, and I remember the step show from when I was in school 30 years ago. <laughs> it wasn't like it is now. <laughs> uh, you've got, um, before the step show, you've got a big event where you're inviting Greek alumni back. Yes, you know, we try to make sure that we are inclusive, including every, you know, facet of uh, individuals who were here and whatever their likes were. And so we have started doing a MPAC Greek alumni happy hour, and it's always before the step show. Um, We were having it at the Laird Weems house, but we're kind of doing some construction right now. You're getting some new walls in there. We are adding some new walls and offices, and so it's a little dusty, and so we are moving it to Fenton hewing where the actual step show is going to be and it's going to be there it's actually free for uh greek alumni they just register online and then they purchase their ticket to the step show and they can come in and we'll have a open open bar and some food and things for them to eat and you know hang out with each other with each, before the uh, greek show begins so this is uh what day is the the step show this year so the step show is friday evening um the Happy hour starts at 7. It's from 7 to 8. And then doors open for the Greek show at 8. And then um, the show will start. Now, I want to remind folks that uh, it's not this Friday night. The Warhawks are on the road. We've got to go to uh, uh, the town of Statesboro, Georgia, and take on Georgia State. Uh, And then we'll come back. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Georgia State's in Atlanta. Atlanta. Georgia Southern. I always get those two confused. We're going to Georgia (laughs) Southern where they've got the big cannon. Uh, And then we'll uh, return uh, back the next week for homecoming. Mm -hmm. Correct. And homecoming, the homecoming game is going to be that Saturday, the 28th. Um, And so the game kickoff time is 4 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. That uh, is going to be a a lot of fun. Uh, Tell me, um, as folks get back and they they get back on campus, you got to eat breakfast, right? Of course you have to eat breakfast. Tell me about uh, this uh, Good Morning Gala. Is that breakfast? 
The, yes, the Good Morning Gala is actually um, our alumni awards brunch. You come and you can eat and we'll have uh, mimosas and Bloody Mary and a DJ and you can hang out and then we'll give out some awards. We'll be giving out awards for our Rising Young Alumni winner and our Golden Arrow winner. And this year, we are actually have someone who qualified for the George T. Walker Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, you told me it's been four years since you've given this out this is a special yeah. award in yes. the last four years y'all were like eh, nobody quite met up to the mark this yeah, time Yeah, it's kind of taken a while for us to find someone that was that got nominated that actually fit the criteria and so we're really excited to present this award this year four years that's a are you, are you going to tell me who it is can no. you do that now no you have to come okay i, I know him <laughs> he's a really good dude yes uh, and he wandered in the radio station one day, and a uh, good guy. Yes. Um, w- so the Good Morning Gala, um, and you're going to meet uh, all of the award winners. Mm-hmm. Um, that's uh, another one of the big activities for, for Homecoming Week. We've got uh, a couple of minutes left. What else is uh, happening in the world of alumni? Well, I love to give a little bit more information about the Good Morning Gala. So when you first come in, there's a really nice museum full of university memorabilia that you can kind of take a scroll down memory lane, look at some old uniforms that you might can't get in anymore that you may have worn once upon a time, things of that nature, lots of pictures and things like that. We'll have a photo booth there so you can take pictures and have something to commemorate coming to the uh, Good Morning Gala. Also, uh, we will have uh, an area where you can sign up if you want for the chili cook-off that we have coming up. Oh, yeah, chili cook-off. That, it's starting to get cool. It's time to think about chili. Yes, yeah, so if you if you think you're, you have the, the skills to make a pot of chili, we encourage you to sign up. Last year, we had a very young winner. I think it was... 14 years old. He participated with his dad, but the the winner last year was 14. I'm sure he's looking to see if someone's going to try to come and take his crown. My uh, favorite chili cooking story, I judged one year, and um, one of the guys, just his sister was cooking chili, and so he scooped up a scoop of his sister's chili. She entered the contest. She came in sixth. He took her chili. He entered the contest. He came in first. Oh, wow. I'm not going to tell you about who it was, though. Um, (laughs) You'll have to come to the chili cooking to find out. Folks, uh, to find out more about this and other events, be sure and head to our website, kedm.org. And you can find out more by visiting ulm.edu slash homecoming. This is 90.3 KEDM Monroe.